Quick video on how to uh, bring back a dead floppy. Um, I bought some uh, brand new three and a half inch 1.44 meg floppies uh, made by Precision. They're MF2 HDs. Uh, pretty standard floppy. And when I popped them in, I was getting read errors and I tried to format them and it would give me this error Invalid Meteor, Track Zero Bad, Disk Unusable. And it wouldn't allow me to format them. Um, after a little bit of Google searching and uh, some digging, I found some drive tools called Image Disk. Um, and this can do a whole bunch of neat stuff, but I'm going to use only the most basic feature of this. Um, one of these is a floppy drive controller test. And this test uh, pretty much drops a new track zero. Well, I'm not sure if that's exactly how it does it, but it does format write and read and verify to test that the uh, floppy drive controller and the floppy drive are functioning properly and by running this test it seems to uh, I'm not sure if it remagnetizes track zero or if it lays down a base format to allow it to work again but either way it seems to fix the problem without going into doing a new low-level format or writing a new image from scratch which are other ways that this program uh, IMD can bring a disk back but I'm only covering the very basic here so we're gonna do test FDC a colon and it tells you to low, insert low density media which I'm not using so I'm gonna hit escape high density media you hit enter and so now what it does is it lays down a quick format writes and then verifies that the writes there and it does this for a couple different modes that the drive is capable of Sorry about the background noise. So there it goes. And it shows that the, the floppy drive controller passed those capabilities. So now we're just going to do again. And there it goes. And it goes through the format procedure just fine. So far I've done uh, 8 out of 10 of the discs that came in this box. And this has worked for every single one of them. I hope this helps some folks out. I will put a link to the uh, software download in the uh, bottom of the page. A couple notes is it has to be a, uh, an operating system with direct controller access such as DOS. Uh, Windows 95, 98, 3, 1. Although you should run it only in DOS mode. Um, the recommendations from the software uh, creator says that you shouldn't run it through 3, 1, 95, or 98. It should be right in DOS itself. And it will not function in Windows XP or newer at all because they don't have direct access. Unless you were to boot up from a DOS uh, floppy or CD and then run it from primary DOS mode. All right, I hope this helps you guys out as, as, as it has helped me. And uh, take care.